Hello everyone, this is Impulse, and welcome back to episode number 27 of our Futurecraft Let's Play. This week, we're on Snapshot 13W18C, and I uh, can't wait for the next Snapshot to come out. It's always exciting to see what's new. Starting to gather some materials, uh, and as you can see where I'm at, I got this long corridor. Uh, I think it's raining outside. And I got this long corridor lit up. I dug this out a while back in hopes that someday it would be my future storage room. So, yep, you guessed it. Future storage room is uh, actually going to start happening today in this episode. We're going to start working on this storage room. That was the uh, popular vote of the, from the last episode. So we'll get started on that. I started gathering some materials, went and took what I could out of my iron farm, and went and chopped some trees. I'm gonna have to do a lot more than that. Um, we're gonna need we're gonna need a ton of hoppers, basically. My plan is to basically dig out this floor, and I want to replace the entire floor, the entire length of it, with hoppers, so that whenever I'm back from doing whatever it is I'm out doing, I can just come in throw down my junk and the hoppers will suck it up and auto store it is the idea uh, I want it to just be put away you know kinda sorted properly into its you know respective chest and planning on you know kinda lining the chests up just along this corridor along this back wall maybe do some fancy storage on the corners for for bulk items and uh... yeah so i gotta dig out this ground I gotta gather some more materials, make a ton of hoppers, a uh, bunch of chests, obviously. Uh, you know, I need double the chests because I need chests for the hoppers and chests for the storage itself. So, yep, I'm definitely gonna need more wood than this. So, I'm going to run off and get some of that stuff together and maybe at least get the floor dug out, do a couple of the, uh, you know, the tedious things that are gonna be a little boring for you guys to watch. And when I'm ready to start actually assembling this thing, uh, I'll be back with you. See you in a sec. All right, I am back, and I've done a little bit of work here. I decided I better just figure out exactly how many hoppers I need before I go and make a bunch. So I dug that out, figured it out, uh, added some lighting in here. It's getting a bunch of mobs. So I put in basically this redstone lamp flooring that's going to go underneath the chest so you can see here this is kind of the design I'm going to have it's uh, pretty similar to Sir Rob Hi-Fi's setup the way that he kind of made it so it wraps over your head so you can reach all the chests here and then gives you some room to put an item frame above them so we can label them and then in the back what we'll do is we'll lay some hopper pipes all the way down across each kind of row there and then we'll be able to hook that to some sort of sorting system. I'm not sure we'll get that far in this episode. Uh, but I did want to show you this. This hopper floor, I decided to go three wide, and this actually goes 50 too long. But as I threw this down, I noticed one thing. That's beautiful. <laughs> in case you don't know what I'm talking about, these hoppers used to have this weird effect as you'd walk across them. You kind of glitch down into them. And it uh, doesn't look like they do that anymore, which is, that's uh, just amazing. You know, it's <laughs> it's just, that's all I needed. I just need little things like that to be fixed in these snapshots in the next release. And, uh, yeah, that's brilliant. So, yeah, this is kind of how I'm, I'm planning on doing this, at least for the, you know, each chest will have a designated item, basically, in it. And then I left the kind of the corner open there and down there so that we could put some kind of bulk storage system in each corner. So I'm thinking, you know, kind of cobble in one and dirt in the other. Whoa! Whoa! I about jumped out of my chair there. <laughs> like, the whole mouse shook. I got scared. <laughs> Woo! Man, I'm on edge. I'm on edge now. I thought a creeper was going to come in. Whew. So yeah, we need to we need to maybe make this place safe sometime. You know, we got what a three by could be a three by three. You guys might know where I'm going with that. 
So, yeah, I, as, as cool as it is that I can walk across the top of these, I'm not sure I, I like just the open hopper look. So what I was thinking was trying to do something else that's in the new snapshots here. And let's see if we can craft us some carpet. Yep. And what I'm curious about, well, now that I made a bunch of it, this better work is I'm not sure exactly what how I'm gonna do this, but I wanna lay the carpet sweet. So I wasn't sure if you could lay them on top of hoppers. But I'm thinking we'll just cover it up. And I wanna do oh look now I'm now I'm falling down into it. Do you see that? If I hold shift. Oh yeah, look at that. If you hold shift and walk across them you fall down into it again. Huh. Interesting. But only like if you're right in the middle. So if I walk along the, the border there, I gotta hold shift just so I'm not clicking into the hoppers. Let me lay a I think I'm gonna go with like a blue, maybe kind of racing stripe type of deal here. Hopefully I made enough to go all the way. Yep. And then I grab some gray. Where'd my gray go? Oh I had plenty. Gray. So this is not much of a change there from the hopper face, but a little better, I think. Cover it up. And we'll kind of do that along both sides. Oh, see? I had every right to be paranoid. He could have came in here and messed up my whole deal. And then I wouldn't even remember what I was going to do. Man. Now this guy. It's like a party going on. So yeah, I'll finish laying down this carpet. And I'm already out of wood. I used it all for this hopper floor. So I'll have to go cut some more trees down. And now I kind of I know exactly how many chests I need. So, you know, I'm alternating, obviously, with the... This is... Let's see, which one's this? That's the trap chest, and then that's a regular chest. So you got to have that back and forth all the way down. Um, so this, like I said, 52 long. So times three, what is that? Um, 150... Six. There it is. <laughs> yeah, I hate math. Yeah, 156 chests I'll need total. So let me go get enough wood to get those chests. I know I said I was going to do that before, but I didn't. Uh, but I will now. Keep my promise. I'll go get that wood, get these chests made, and then we'll at least lay out, you know, kind of this design all the way down. And then we can start discussing, you know, the sorting system and how that's going to get integrated. So I'll be right back. I made some chests, I put them in, actually ended up pushing this whole thing back by one block. It was just feeling a little too cramped in here for me. So I put another row of the blue in with hoppers underneath, so there's four rows of hoppers. And uh, yep, alternated regular chest, trap chests all the way down, threw in some item frames until I ran out of leather. And let's go ahead and walk this all the way down to the end, so if you remember there's 52 chests across each row, and there's three rows, so that was 156 total. I think that's going to be enough. Uh, I know it's not going to store every item in the game, but it'll store pretty much every one that I feel like keeping anyway, at least in here. may have to do something as far as organization, you know, a redstone section, a building section, you know, different style blocks, maybe wool. Um, tools, armor, etc. I have to sit down and kind of map that out exactly where I want, you know, everything to be. But I also went ahead and connected all these hoppers to this pipe here and then to a uh, item elevator. And this is a silent design that I like. I uh, used it before and I'll put a link to uh I can't remember who made it? I know Cube, Cube Hamster uh, spotlighted this as part of his sharing as caring. Um, so you can check out Cube Hamster's video, and hopefully that will 
leads you to the uh, original designer of this so they get credit as well but I'll put a link to that in the description and here just to show you you know if I throw in an item way over there you see it flashed and it actually made its way all the way up here, I'll do another one so you can see better see okay do 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 all the way up to the top and let's see if we can get up there already did a little bit of work putting in a item sorter um, not done I have some more hoppers I'm gonna need to make to make it all the way to the end I mean this is just this project so far is just using a ton of resources and <laughs> survival single player survival world like mine even though I've got a lot of things going on I, you know I think it's actually the the lack of of wood that's getting me you know I never did do the the wood uh, generator you know using that glitch just felt a little too cheaty for for my let's play here and uh, you know panda just came out with a really cool one and I've been getting so annoyed with having to make having to cut down trees and stuff lately to make you know a lot of chests for the storage and for the hoppers that I might might have to try the the deal panda did with the kind of getting the wither boss to explode trees and <laughs> that was pretty cool and uh, collect wood automatically that way so anyway I'll think about that that's that's another kind of a big project I'll have to do so okay back to the sorting system so we got it basically coming up the item elevator over this hopper chain and then this is just your standard sorting system where you kind of put your filter item in 22 items of the same type and then as soon as it gets to 23 it's going to you know depower a torch that's kind of stopping this hopper from allowing the item to fall all the way through and uh, you know that way it can take it and put it in the chest and if it doesn't match this item here basically instead of falling down it's going to go over and then in the next one and kind of do another evaluation so I was just testing it these aren't uh, you know where I'm actually going to end up storing these materials I just wanted to make sure that was going to work you know I did a first couple slices as a test and I need to finish it out and I only have 15 hoppers left and I think what do I have here I've used about seven right here so if you remember I need 52 so yeah not enough yet uh, I think my wood supply is completely gone now go check that out yeah like I said this has just been a resource hog that's all I got these are trap chests so I can't use wait a minute can I? I was gonna say I can't use them to make hoppers but maybe it it will uh, I'll just here we'll just test it with this little iron we have and we'll go here yeah you can't make a, a hopper with a trap chest so that's what I thought I just had to check it out so again I gotta go get more wood to finish that out but I think I'm gonna keep this video fairly short today um, for those of you that don't know I know I've mentioned this a couple time and it probably feels like I've been moving now for a month and I guess in a way I have been <laughs> I had one of those deals where I had to move into a temporary house while I was waiting for the the final house to kinda be done and uh, now the final house is done I'm just getting ready I've been making the move little by little getting my stuff over there and uh, Yep, just been been a big project. You know, the the older I get, the more stuff I collect. <laughs> the bigger the family gets, and the more stuff you collect, basically. So I've got a lot of stuff. I've been moving. I've been holding off on moving my PC. So I'm actually kind of at the temporary house right now, making this video for you guys. Uh, I know that I've been lacking on getting these let's plays out and I feel really guilty about it I do it's been tearing me up but uh, you know life is life right when things get busy I know a lot of you guys are probably busy the school years wrapping up you guys are taking your exams the end of your exams whatever you do um, so you know hopefully you guys are focusing on that and I'll tell you this I will make it up to you uh, when the summer comes I actually got a little vacation coming up from my job and I'll be spending a little more time making some videos focusing on the channel of course I'm gonna do a little vacation with the family first but after that I think I'm going to try to produce a little more content than I usually do and hopefully that makes up for for this kinda of lapse that I've had lately so 
before I end the video, as always, we are going to kind of get to a, you know, get to our let's choose your next adventure scenario again, but going to do it a little differently this time. This time I'm going to take a page out of Tango Tech's book. If you don't know who he is, definitely check his channel out. He is a great Minecrafter slash YouTuber, you name it. Cool guy. And uh, he had a concept, uh, or he did this recently, I should say, where he basically had a Q&A session. Um, let you know his viewers get a chance to know him a little better. I know I talk about my personal life a little bit here and there. You guys hear about my moving. You hear about you know my family. I haven't really spoke about much else. And I realized, you know what? I know you guys have some questions for me. Um, I see some in the comments. I don't get to them all. You know, I try to, um, but there are some that have not been answered, I'm sure. And uh, I want to open it up again, uh, or open it up just like Tango did, and let you guys ask me some questions. I'll spend the next video basically answering those questions about myself or whatever you want to ask. Ask it. Don't be shy. Um, do like to keep the channel PG, so keep the questions clean. Uh, and I'll be, you know, do my best to answer those. Meanwhile, you know, while I'm answering those, I'm going to get to a project that I've thrown out there a couple times. And uh, that project is basically the Exploring the Stronghold. I just realized I haven't tested this again. I uh, forgot to tell you, because so much time passed since I started this recording, uh, 13W19A we're on now. So it is a new snapshot, so... Figure while I'm talking here, let's go ahead and test this elevator. So yes, put down your questions in the comments, and I'll get to those, and we'll be exploring the stronghold, and I think, I think I might have somebody else in the world with me that hasn't been here for a while, and people have been asking where he's been. I'm going to see if I can get him to join me for that episode, help me explore the stronghold. And if you've been with following the series for a while, I think you know who I'm talking about. And we'll have to bring back the, uh, the translator, of course. Anyway, I'll end it here, and I'll give you my promise that uh, this storage will be at least all wired up. The sorting will go all the way down and I'll see about getting to the uh, first and second level chests and try to figure out what the heck I'm gonna put in them and we'll get that done in between episodes while I'm waiting for you guys' questions show that off as we start and then we'll go exploring and answer some questions so can't wait to see what you guys ask uh, hopefully I got some decent answers for you and with that said Thanks for joining me, and I will see you again next week. Take it easy.